Hey, what's going on, everybody? So today we're doing a bigger one. We got MP22 Cybertron City Commander Ultra Magnus. Yeah, he's a big boy. So he's got a really big box. So front of the box, we got Ultra Magnus in his robot mode and his vehicle mode. Side of the box. Side of the box. Top of the box. There's the back of the box. You got actual size of the figure. He's big. You know, him, him with Optimus, and him showing off that he can carry the other Autobot cars and stuff with the Matrix. And all of that fun stuff. Yeah, he's a big old boy. But box aside, normally I have the figure sitting right back there, but he's big, so we didn't do it that way today. Here we have Ultra Magnus in his vehicle mode, and this vehicle mode is fantastic. I absolutely love it. Um, he can, if you want to, I don't know why you'd do this, but he can detach. And you essentially have MP10's vehicle mode right here. I mean, it doesn't transform into a white optimus, thank God. But you can replicate that, which is kind of cool. Um, he can carry an Autobot car on him. I mean, I don't have any handy, but here's... There you go. <laughs> you could do something like that. Speaking of that, there he is with the original Ultra Magnus. Because I actually have the original Ultra Magnus, one of the few G1 figures I actually have. The new one's a lot bigger. A lot bigger. Oh, and there's spoilers for later. <laughs> but, um, a couple of things about this vehicle mode, of course. You could pull all that down. Separate this real quick. And that could be a ramp, so you can get cars up there. You can, you know, drive them up there if you you want to. Or you can just be a person and put them up top. <laughs> you can actually angle these cannons more like the um, G1 toy. I like them on the sides better, personally. So I can get them over there, but you can aim them toward the front if you wanted to. Um, he also comes with... Adult Spike and Daniel. And they can actually, you know... Sit inside of Ultra Magnus. It's not actually the easiest thing to do. <laughs> but... You probably missed all that, but I'm trying to do this on camera. This isn't exactly the most exciting thing in the world. There you go. <laughs> Spike fell. But you get the idea that they can they can sit inside of Ultra Magnus. Because that that is what we want out of our masterpiece figures. Is little guys sitting in our Transformers. I mean, you might be one of those weird people that likes that. I don't know. I'm not you, but... I mean, it's cool that they come with these guys, but... This guy. Nobody likes him. So, anywho, that's neither here nor there. So... Let's get to transforming this guy, shall we? So, to get him into his robot mode is probably one of the more involved ones we've done so far, and he's going to be big, so. 
we're gonna do our best here. So of course we're gonna fold the winch, the uh, mirrors in, and then turn the gas tanks around. We're gonna go ahead and separate this piece and fold that back, and we're gonna do that on both sides. We're gonna go ahead and unclip all this stuff and let that hang. We'll actually go ahead and just open this up, push that down. That'll, this piece will fold down. And we'll go ahead and raise that up while pushing these guys back. We'll raise all of that up. We'll work on the legs over here. So, that's all gonna connect right in there, locking all of that in place. Then under here, we're gonna take the wheels and turn them around. That fought me more than it ever has before. <laughs> All right, so let's work on the back next. So let's raise the camera, actually. And these pieces are gonna clip into the back right there. That's gonna lock all of that in place. All right, so now the arms. All right, we should probably do this first, huh? All right, so open this top piece up. push Ultra Magnus's chest in. We'll push his head up. Let's go to the back. Close his back up. Pull that piece down. Pull these pieces out. Fold the front of the truck in. Close these together. And push all of that in. Boom. So, arms. Oh boy. We're gonna Push this piece down there, in, fold this up, turn that around, close that, pull that forward, rotate that piece up to make the top of his shoulder, fold all that, collapse it all together, open that up, and now we can do the same thing over here. And there we have Ultra Magnus in his robot mode. And oh my goodness, this is, of the figures we reviewed so far, the most cartoon accurate to date. This Ultra Magnus is essentially perfect. You couldn't make a better Ultra Magnus figure now if you tried. This Ultra Magnus is just absolutely wonderful. Oh man, I I still adore, I love this Ultra Magnus. This figure is so good. So good. Um, this was actually a birthday gift for me back in 2015. Um, a group of friends pulled together and bought it for me because the girl I was dating at the time knew I really wanted him. So they pulled their money together, and boom, Ultra Magnus. And oh man, this is just so good. This is just so good. So he's big. He is very big. We're going to do the size comparisons first, and then we'll do the articulation and all his gimmicks and stuff. Here he is next to the original, who was a pretty big boy for the original. And I got to say, this is one of the biggest improvements on the G1 toy that I have so far. Great, they pretty much all have been, but... To the way they did the trip, the way they did the cab, that he doesn't need to be a, a white optimist and they could still make him Ultra Magnus and look like this is just genius, genius engineering. And Takara doesn't get enough credit for this Ultra Magnus. This Ultra Magnus is still to this day one of the best ones they've done, I think. 
he is excellent. And here he is next to MP10. So you can see he's quite a bit taller than MP10. He has some interactivity with MP10, which we'll get to in a bit, but he's a bit bigger, for sure. His articulation in this mode is quite good. Um, he can look up a little bit. He can't really look down. There's no waste. A little bit. How are they going to engineer one into this transformation? His legs can go forward. They can go back. He's got a knee. He's got his ankle rocker. His move, feet can't move forward, but that's okay. Arms full 360. They can go up and down. In and out a little bit. He's got biceps. He's got single elbow joints, wrists. And he's got the typical bigger masterpiece hands. So he's got a pretty good amount of poseability, but he's a big, he's a big chunky boy. What kind of poses are you gonna get a big chunky boy like him into? Um, he of course has his gun, which he can hold. Quite snugly. Best connection of a transform of a gun in the hand so far up to this point. I just he's just oh man, I, I'm gushing, I know, but I love this Ultra Magnus so much. I, I still I I love 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 this Ultra Magnus. He's just Oh man, every time I play with him or every time I transform him, he's just he blows my mind even more every time I mess with him, but He's got some compatibility with Optimus, like I said. If you can, if you take Optimus Prime and you get his Matrix, I'm sorry, I guess this is Convoy, really. But I'm never gonna call him Convoy. Now, take the Matrix, and you could actually open his chest up. And he can store the Matrix in there. That's pretty cool, actually. I mean, granted, he's just a soldier. He's not worthy. As you could tell by him getting blown up in the movie. <laughs> but he can hold it, and that's cool. Um, he also has an alternate face. Which is going to lead to something terrifying, but, you know. So if we're going to pull that piece off and... Yeah, this is a white optimus face with half a mouth. It's, it's really disturbing. But if you take this, you could push his face off. You could put this back on there like this if you really want to. Don't. I mean, that's that's an attention to detail. I'll give him credit, because the original G1 Magnus was just a white Optimus with a helmet. <laughs> but that's a nice attention to detail, but it's terrifying. You can put on this screaming face. So he's like, ah! But you can also... You can do this, I promise. There you go. We'll, we'll, this will make it easy. We can trade out his hands for these, which have a little, little cut in them. And Takara, you guys are disturbed, but if you get the hands like this, You can actually get him in a opening the matrix, I'm about to die pose. That's what these hands are designed for. 
<laughs> okay, Takara, sure. You deliberately gave your Ultra Magnus and I'm about to die pose. That's... <laughs> okay. Sure. <laughs> Whatever you guys say, Tagara. But, you know, it happened. It, it was a thing that happened in the movie. Uh, one more thing. You can, um, with the alternate face, we're going to switch it back to the, the standard one because I like it better. If you open his back up, there is a little tab there that you can just put the extra face on. And also, if you get the um, the MP31 Delta Magnus, which I don't have and I am never ever going to get, but he comes with a couple alternate faces for Ultra Magnus. So like I said in my Bumblebee review, they're giving it new accessories to try and justify you buying a repaint. But... <laughs> Anyway, I'm never, ever going to get that Delta Magnus. But as I've said many, many times, I love, love this Ultra Magnus. Um, I don't have MP2 Ultra Magnus, which is the white repaint of MP1, so I can't really compare the two. But th I have the MP1. So I can say this is leaps and bounds better than that original MP2 Ultra Magnus mold, just because this is leaps and bounds better than MP1. And I'm going to say that aside from probably MP10, and this might even tie with MP10 for me, but those two so far, the ones we've reviewed, are my favorite masterpieces so far that we've reviewed. I love this Ultra Magnus, and... The guy after him, I think, is even better. Not exhaust. But <laughs> the next one I'm going to review, I think, is even better than Ultra Magnus. But he set such a high bar that I didn't know if they were going to surpass him. And I personally think they did. But we'll get there in the next video. But this guy, like, aside from the butt plate, which does not bother me at all. Honestly, I never think about it. You could just fold it up and pretend it's not there. I think this is going to definitively be the greatest Ultra Magnus figure ever made. And certainly one of still the best Masterpiece toys on the market. Um, if you can find him now, I definitely say go for it. Um, he was about $200 when he first came out. And we thought that was super pricey, but now we'll look at Masterpieces. <laughs> Regardless, Masterpiece 22 Ultra Magnus, excellent. I could not recommend him enough, especially if you can find him for a good price nowadays. He is amazing. Absolutely fantastic. I cannot recommend him enough. Anywho, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoyed the figure. <laughs> but, hope you guys love it as much as I do. Take care. Bye-bye.